Alright guys, so we have this last episode of the prologue, which is going to be a cutscene, so we'll see. And I might actually just keep making the episodes along, uh, simply because of how cutscene heavy this game is. We'll see how it is in the future. そう。引き続き警戒を厳にしてください。は。帝国軍の信頼やつらはどうしましょう。埋葬してあげて。戦争は始まってしまった。この町の人たちを守るには私には戦うしか方法はないの。この雪草の種だ。小さいけれど白く綺麗な花を咲かせるんだよ。この戦争を振り返った時に思い出したいの。命を奪い合っていただけじゃないってこと。新しい命だってこの時代に生まれていたことを。西暦 圧倒的な軍事大国を退けた奇跡的な勝利。歴史の中に埋もれていた光と影。勇気と友情、迫害と偏見。そして戦火の中に生まれた愛の感動。これは7ヶ月に及んだその戦いの記録である。This is, it's kind of heavy. The next chapter, chapter one in Defense of Brule. Bururu. Bururu. New episode has been added. Okay, so looking at it, it looks like we've got one, two different uh, gameplay episodes in this with smaller sort of stuff so, so yeah let's just uh, let's just power through these episodes Episode 1A. <laughs> it's like. Oh, no, it's not quite done yet. Isara, so kind of Jumbia Sunder. Hi, Nichio Hina no Nizukri was Sunday Mas. Take Okunga Chikazi Terio da Gra. He got credit my new Bururu Tato. Masa san, Nisanga Kaitekimasta. 
old lady. Welkies. Oh, she's pregnant. Okay. Oh, that's right. This is like her fifth kid. Oh my god. These are for me. Yep. Work at the bakery. Lives there too. Jesus. It's the most cutesy anime nonsense. It's just. I love it, but at the same time, it's just like, oh my god, like, oh, it's so sickly sweet. そんなことがあったんですか。坊ちゃん、大変でしたね。それにしても可愛いお嬢さんだこと。坊ちゃんも隅に置けませんね。うん。え。Jesus。そんなんじゃないよ。すげえ、そう、いいぞ。一緒に
but that's like the sign of a mortar. So that's bad news. Yeah, there it is. Bam. I forgot. Like, they're not really, like... They're really not holding back on that whole people just sometimes die in war and they're civilians. Oh, Jesus. Jesus Christ. Okay. Let's let's go then. Believe it, the mill. Attacking the squad in town. We've got the town watch together now. Fend them off. Big mill plaza. I'll help. Thanks, Welkin. Now move out. Stay low. Alright, so. It has been added. Oh, I guess there's only the one. I thought. For some reason, I thought that one was. Uh, I guess I wasn't. I can't really see. No, that's right. Okay. It moves around weirdly. It doesn't move like. Like, I can move left, but I can't move it back or right. I have to move it weirdly. But anyways, uh, I thought that one... I thought 2B was a uh, combat. Uh, a gameplay. A game. I don't know what I'm going to call it. I guess combats. Playing the mission. The enemies invaded the Windmill Plaza and has taken almost the entire area over. We'll deploy from this position. Hide behind sandbags for cover as you advance towards the plaza. Yep. Uh, our goal this time is to eliminate the enemy leader. I'm pretty sure they'll be there in the plaza area. Be careful, there may be enemy units hiding behind buildings out there. Uh, hidden enemies won't show up in the command mode view, so be careful as you make your advance. Uh, Welkin dies, Alicia dies, or 20 turns pass. Failure. <laughs> I think the the um it's probably the the uh, blah 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 the dialogue's probably westernized but so it's not exactly what's being said but I feel like it's probably the gist is roughly the same. Well, some time the town's able to get away. Yep. All right, I got it. Let's all be careful out there. Got a second? Listen close, and I'll explain. About damage. A set amount of the damage a unit has sustained is healed in each turn. If a unit has taken heavy damage, don't push them, stay back and heal up. Should enemy attacks drive a unit's HP to zero, their condition becomes critical. In this battle, you have no way of helping a unit in critical condition. Try to fight carefully so no one's HP reaches zero. I forgot that was a thing. Okay, so we have Welkin. No, what the? There we go. So we'll start with Welkin because he's in the front. So I guess Welkin's taken point. So we'll run you right there. And when a unit sights an enemy in action mode, a sight line will appear over their head on her head. The line connects the unit to the enemy, meaning that line points in the direction of the enemy's location. Use it as a guide when attacking or when trying to position your units in a spot where they'll be safe from enemy attacks. Uh, about attacking enemies. Uh, while target mode will automatically lock onto the next in firing range. The crosshairs will turn red when a unit aiming at an enemy has a clear line of sight on their target. Use the guideline that extends from the gun when firing near obstacles to see if they're blocking any of the shots. Uh, when a crosshair is blah blah blah, I already kind of explained this in the last one. Uh, versus person shows damage against human target versus armor shows damage against tanks and armor. The symbol will indicate the effectiveness of different types. O will indicate the weapon is effective against it. Tr Triangle indicates the weapon only gives slight damage. X is ineffective. Okay, so that's what the triangle is. Uh, area shows whether the attack will damage a broad area, and shots shows the number of rounds fired per each attack. Yep, to kill. In this case, five rounds. Yep, this number. Yep. Uh, misses or hits to other areas of the target are not taken into account of this number. Uh, this provides estimate, blah, blah, blah. Cool. Also, headshots do extra damage. Okay. I'm gonna shoot you. You see, I think I, I feel like I probably hit his head there. And thus, uh, if I. I wanna go over it. How do I go over it? Oh, I just push forward. And then come here. So he's already fired, so I can't fire him again. 
uh, and I, I want to keep all of these guys advancing. So we'll advance Alicia next. Because if I advance her right up here. Let's see. And of course, even though we hit his head there, uh, since he's in cover, there is no... Uh, what's its critical damage? And then... We'll use the Town Watchman. Get Town Watchman right up here. Man, he's not gonna hit shit. Yeah, see? However, the bonus is that the other guy's not really gonna hit much of anything either. So... Alright, and that'll be that. So let's go. End of the phase, yes. Now, I remember how this... This, uh... Sort of instance ends. And that's... And it's kind of a whole lot of bullshit, and I'm not looking forward to it. Oh, no. No, Alicia... Alicia or Alicia? I don't know, I'm not entirely sure how I'm supposed to say that. And if I was listening to it in English, English I might remember. No, oh, yeah, she dropped prone, which happens sometimes, and it just sort of... It may, you know, it does what dropping prone in real life does. It makes it harder for the enemy to, to hit them, or for the enemy to hit you. And it seems to be sort of random. Uh, I think there's a stat for it that I can check out later. But, yeah, no, I think... Like, I, I really love this engine and this, this gameplay and everything. It's fascinating to me. Alright, player phase. Let's do it. Get our three. Uh, yeah, we need to move. Who are we going to move first? Uh, Town Watchman, I guess. Uh, what's your chair? You know Fuck it. There we go. And then let's try to gonna move up here, see if we, okay. So no enemies were revealed by doing that, which is what I'm after. Kind of, you see this? This means that there is an enemy, and the last time I saw them was roughly right there. So that's the cool thing. So there we go. So next we'll do welcome. Little Pochan or whatever. Right, hop over this. Crouch and fire. Let's see. Let's see. Hop over. Can you not go over? I'm not entirely sure what just happened there. Oh, I think I like looted the body or something. Something along those lines. And the current action, yeah. And then lastly, we'll bring Alicia forward. Alicia. I'm gonna say Alicia. Stand. Crouch. Let's see, let's get his. Well, it doesn't really matter, because three shots and he's dead. We hit him in the face anyway. Yeah, see, when they do that, it's the I just got a crit sort of uh, maneuver. So, let's do that. There's a scout. And I'll just end her right there. Because why the hell not? And we'll end the phase. And I'm sure you kind of you, you might have noticed a uh, pop up with that other scout that fired at Alicia that he had a command point above his head. So that means when we kill him, uh the enemy won't have that command point anymore. Or every turn, they won't be able to use that command point because it'll be basically gone. There's nine there. What else do we have? Because there's another one. Ah, oh, there's this guy here. But this guy has a command point. But I think I'm... Ah, fuck it. We'll just hit you. Yeah, and there you go. See, he drops prone. Be fun, and then end it. Uh, yes, you walk can. In. Uh, just 
run. Because you're going to run right here. Because I want you to try and take him out. Two, three, four, five. Nope. Okay. Okay, we're good there. And honestly, how's Alicia even doing? Oh, she's back in full health, so I'll move her around. Uh, I'll just drop her right here in between. Spacing is an issue because I am fully just sort of baiting a grenade. Clang. Which was, I think that's actually the enemy commander, come to think of it. So yeah. So now, a new bit of bullshit's about to happen. Oi. Yep, it's a tank. The fucking throw a tank at me. So, I don't have the equipment to deal with this tank. Jesus Christ. And there he goes. Tank. Yep. The appropriate response to a tank. Jesus Christ. All right, enemy phase. So I don't remember the tank being over there, actually. So the tank's gonna just kind of. So I believe the tank might actually just full blown kill us all right now. Yep, kablam. Or no, we got shifted around. All right. So yeah, the town watchman is not having a good time. So, the goal now for us is to get away. And we're gonna have to actually cross that road that it's currently on to get away. So we can't cross in front of it. I'm trying to remember how we're supposed to do this. Not good, we're not equipped to take out a tank. I hate to say it, but we should probably pull out for now. Road into the alley to the east. It's too narrow for a tank to follow. And try and stay behind cover while moving while blasting that turret and it's over. Yeah. See, it goes like this. I feel like I might be expected to go around like that. Like, the way I ended up doing it, if I remember correctly from the first time, is I basically ran it over here. I just ran basically straight across the street behind this building and then down there. I feel like what I'm supposed to do is go this way, so we'll find out. Uh, no, I'm not going to end my phase yet because it's suicide. Oh, that's right, because those things aren't actually like walls. They are, in fact, right. Okay. Okay, so, town guard dies. <laughs> town watchman has retreated. Okay. So these are, in fact, planters. Fuck. Alright. How the fuck am I supposed to go across? I have zero memory of how to do this. I think if I do this, let's see, let's just adjust this slightly to try and get his head in there, just in case. Four, five. Uh, yeah. And then walk him down. So I'm going to leave Welkin. I don't know. I feel like I'm going to have to restart. Luckily, we'll restart from that moment where the tank shows up and they're like, hey, we have to get away from the tank and we have to run across the street and all that. We'll start from there instead of like all the way back at the beginning, luckily. Oh shit, I probably could have run him farther. 
regardless, with the town watchman dies, dying, it means that we have, uh, we'll bank up some command points. And this is, uh, I don't like it. Yep. Yeah, here goes the tank again. If I remember correctly, tanks cost like two command points to activate anyway. So let's see what we're, let's see what's about to happen. So blah blah blah. Uh, Stand and run. Let's just run her right around here. Let's see, because if I can. Four, five, nope. One of those shots got pretty damn close to his head, but it's a no go on that. And then, and that. And then. These are gonna actually just run this way. Kinda hoping he can make it. Yeah, there we go. I don't remember because I remember I vaguely remember that taking me a million tries. And I'm sure I didn't do it correctly. Right, so there's not much the town watch can do. By the time so everyone can get away, I'll dig in my heels to the main gate and do what I can to stall them. Have some grab Sara and Martha, then come back. Be careful, welcome. And yeah, so yeah, this is a fun time. And this is also about the time that I'm probably going to end this second episode, so.